Okay, is Martin Bundle a confidence trickster? Did Martin Bundle commit a confidence trick, perform a confidence trick on us? You know, in Abu Dhabi 2021, when Lewis Hamilton was ripped off of getting his eighth world title, making him the all-time world champion, the champion of all time. Martin Bundle, I believe, performed a confidence trick on us because Martin Bundle is respected. People think that Martin Bundle know the rules. People know that Martin Bundle knows the rules because he's proven to us that he does. He's gained our confidence. And then during the 2021 season, he used that confidence against us. The confidence that we had, I had, I'll say me, confidence that I had in Martin Bundle was more than the confidence I had within myself about Formula One. Because I allowed certain things to be okayed within me. I would feel like it was wrong. Martin Bunder would say something. I would still feel like it was wrong, but I doubted myself. Why? Because I had so much confidence in what Martin Bundle had to say. I didn't even like Martin Bundle. To start with, I, didn't, I wasn't bothered about Martin Bundle. But then I gained to not like him. He's a bit cocky. He's a bit me, me, I, I. Look what I've done. Look, what, look at me. I do this and I know how to do race. And if you look at his career, it's great. But when you look at his career, compared to the confidence I've got in this guy, it doesn't weigh up. It doesn't weigh up. It's because he's been... I've, I've been hearing him say things for a long time. Them things have turned out to be right. So I've gained confidence in his word. Now this confidence trick situation. Alexa, what is a confidence trick? A confidence trick is an attempt to defraud a person or group after first gaining their trust. Confidence tricks exploit victims using a combination of the victim's credulity, naivete, compassion, vanity, confidence, irresponsibility, and greed. Alexa, repeat that. A confidence trick is an attempt to defraud a person or group after first gaining their trust. Confidence tricks exploit victims using a combination of the victim's credulity, naivete, compassion, vanity, confidence, irresponsibility, and greed. Right, there's a few things in there. Naivety, credulity, credulity. Alexa, what is credulity? Credulity is usually defined as willingness to believe or trust too readily, especially without proper or adequate evidence, gullibility. Right, so so that's what was taking advantage. That's what was taking advantage of me or us. We had trust in somebody. We was being naive to trust that person really because what is it backed up on? That's what credulity is, naivety, confidence. We had confidence in them, okay? And he says, and she says, fraud, fraudulent. To defraud people or a group, a person or a group. Alexa, is performing a confidence trick fraudulent? From hyperleap.com, a confidence trick or confidence game is an attempt to defraud a person or group by gaining their confidence. Alexa, is it illegal to perform a confidence trick? From financialducksandrow.com, these scams are illegal and can lead to significant penalties and interest in possible criminal prosecution. Boy, boy. So did so. I believe, right, that Martin Bundle performed a confidence trick, which is fraudulent and against the law, and punishable. It's a criminal act. And let's let's just hear it one more time, Alexa. What is a confidence trick? A confidence trick is an attempt to defraud a person or group after first gaining their trust. Confidence tricks exploit victims using a combination of the victim's credulity, naivete, compassion, vanity, confidence, irresponsibility, and greed. Right, I'm having that. Ticking too many boxes for that not to be true. So to me, right now, <laughs> Martin Rundle performed a confidence trick and that's fraudulent and it's illegal. And this, this kind of takes away 
some things from Michael Massey. Michael Massey was following the rules, right? But Sky Sports F1 wasn't. Sky Sports F1 were, were taking the information they had and they were playing games with it. They weren't, they weren't saying, like, when it says lapped cars will not unlap themselves, right? That was at that point of time. Lap cars right now will not unlap themselves. Because you heard Red Bull on the radio. Why are we not getting these cars out of the way? Why? Not? Come on, what are we doing? And, and Michael Massey is like, Christian, <laughs> just, just give me some time. I'm trying to clear away this incident. So right now, cars will not be unlapping themselves. But Sky Sports F1 broadcasted that to us on TV. Like, that was the end decision. And then all of a sudden, oh, they are unlapping themselves. But they never were not going to unlap themselves. They was never not going to. They just weren't going to when Sky Sports broadcasted it to us like that was the decision. So that was to cause this confusion. And Martin Bundle was saying this all along. He said, we might get one or two racing laps. When I watched that, I remember it's, it's up on the channel. I was listening to it live, recording, live. And I was like, no way, what Martin Bundle says happens. No matter how much, I don't really, I'm not a fan of the guy. What he says usually happens, he usually gets it right. And he's like, we're getting one or two racing laps. And I'm watching it thinking, how are we, more and more, I'm thinking, how is this gonna, how? The lap cars have got to unlap themselves. And then the safety car has got to come in one lap later. So I don't understand now why they're not saying Lewis Hamilton, eight time world champion, but they are saying, oh no, this could, um, this could be good for Max. Oh, but it's not enough for Max. The lap cars are not getting out of the way, so this is not good enough for Max, but we're still gonna get a racing lap, even though they know, Martin Bundle knows if the rules were followed, there wouldn't be any more racing laps. He knows this. But what he's saying is based on nothing that's ever happened in history. Not, I can't say full history, as long as I've been watching Formula One, many years. It's, he hasn't got anything to go back on at all. Remember this time at such and such, when this happened, when the safety car came in early. There was no reference because it don't happen. So what is he referring to, to come out with these things? It's performing a confidence trick. He knows that we trust him. He knows that he's been a commentator for a long time. He knows that he's the guy in there that demands the most respect. David Croft even said, um, but usually they do. When Martin Bundle spoke about, they don't have to let the unlapped cars, they don't have to let the lapped cars unlap themselves, right? David Cross comes in and says something they probably shouldn't have said right at that moment. Because he says, no, but they usually do. Because he knows, in his mind, he's thinking, well, when have I ever seen this before? I haven't. So usually they always have, they let the lap cars unlap themselves. Always. But Martin Bundo is right in the middle of this confidence trick right now. He probably pressed mute on the microphones and looked at David Cross like, Crofty, you know the deal? I say, then I say, do you know what I mean? Follow my lead. Unmute. Back to the confidence trick. So, this is just another one of these things, right? Where if it turns legal, this is another point. This is another law broken. Maybe not 100%, because there's always going to be a counter argument. I want to hear this counter argument. That's where legal pleadings comes into it. If you file legal pleadings, then they have to come back with a counter argument. I know I'm speaking it and I'm not doing it. I know I'm speaking it and I'm not doing it. But I, come on, man, help me out. Who do we go to to file up a legal document? It just needs to be written right. That's it, don't need to be by no, no one professional. Just needs to have the key points. Maybe I need to YouTube this and put some time into looking it up properly. So then we know for sure. But anyway, I keep saying but confidence trick Martin Bundle David Croft could possibly be inside this as well Michael Massey why do these things keep coming up with Michael Massey right that the, the, people aren't going to like this but but things are coming up about Michael Massey in my head that are playing down his is he was fully involved but the reasoning there's some reasoning for this 
Do you know what I mean? He was getting pressurized from all over the place. He was probably put in a situation. I don't know if he actually knows. Does he know? Or was this Sky Sports thing happening around? Because Michael Massey is the FIA. He's Formula One. Sky Sports, they've got another idea. Do you know what I'm saying? Liberty Media got another idea. I know they own it, but still, they've got another idea. With Sky Sports. Do you know what I mean? Martin Bundle, David Croft, all them lot, they're, they're, they are... I know you know this, <laughs> right? But they are employed by Sky. Michael Mass is not employed by Sky. So he's not on the same, he might be on the same wavelength, but he's not on the same, you know, they're being paid by somebody else. And I know you can argue they're both, they're all getting money from the same place. But if you look at it as it's on paper, legally and stuff, Mark, Michael Massey is FIA. Martin Bunda is Sky Sports. So there could be conflict of interest there. Do you know what I'm saying? And I believe that Red Bull, Christian Horner, all of them, they are they are with Sky. They're trying to build this thing up. They're trying to get rid of Mercedes, obviously, because they want to win. That just goes without saying. But we can see that there's things going underlying all through the 2021 season. We could see all these things and the way that Sky was broadcasting it, the way that Channel 4 was broadcasting it. And then I recently found out that Martin Bundle was the manager of David Coulthard. And David Coulthard was doing the exact same thing on Channel 4. Exactly the same. So they're singing from the same hymn sheet, man. I shouldn't say hymn sheet, because that means, I mean, godlike. I don't believe these people are. These are fraudulent people, man, liars. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave that one there. Let me know what you think. And... I'll try to get back to you in the comments on this one. I'm going to do my best to get back to the comments in this one. All right? <laughs> I'm out of here.